Hi everyone, Renee here from Tippy.com, and we are taking a look at the triumph and tragedy that is AirPlay in iOS 4.2. We're going to look at it on the iPad uh, just because the screen is bigger and it is easier to see, but this all applies to the iPod Touch and the iPhone as well. So um, first of all, we're going to go into videos. We're going to start with the, the good. This is um, objectified. Uh, it's interesting movie. We've got Jonathan Ivey from Apple here talking about their design strategy. We hit the AirPlay button, we hit Apple TV, and right away it loads up and it starts playing on the big screen on our Apple TV. No problem. It works great. Uh, you hit the button again and it comes back and you are back on the iPad. Uh, pretty much the same thing happens on the YouTube app. We have uh, one of George's amazing case videos here start playing it, hit the AirPlay button, Apple TV, and once again it beams the video straight from your iPad to your Apple TV. And the quality is pretty good. Um, I mean it's not you know 1080p perfect HD but sending it from a mobile device with an A4 chip it's it's fairly good looking video. Bring it back to the iPad um, and we go back. iPod, same thing take a podcast, we just downloaded this from the um, iTunes store on the device, start playing it, move it a little bit ahead, and we'll send it over to the Apple TV, and there it goes. So, very good. I mean, this is something you could do directly on the Apple TV, but if for some reason it's already queued up on your iPad or iPhone, it saves you the effort of having to look for it again. So it's a convenience factor. Um, but this is where it starts to get a little bit funny. Uh, you'd think that this AirPlay feature would work the same in all the other apps, and unfortunately, it uh, it just doesn't yet. So, for example, um, I go over to the iTunes app, and this is where I just downloaded that podcast. And I look for a similar podcast. I hit play, and I uh, go for the AirPlay. There we go. Uh, buffering error. Sorry. We'll just reload that again. And hit play. We'll screen it. Go to AirPlay, and it's audio only. There is no um, option to send this video. Now I know it's streaming from the internet, but so is YouTube, so that shouldn't be a problem. And it's the same content that you could download to the iPod app, so that shouldn't be a problem. There shouldn't be any Hollywood restrictions or anything. But it it just doesn't give you the option. Same thing. We go to Safari. We have a YouTube video. YouTube app worked fine. This is very similar video embedded YouTube in mobile Safari uh, click on AirPlay and it's not there it's just the audio option there's no video so I can send the audio to um, the Apple TV if I want Apple TV if I'd like but not the video um, same thing if I go to an application like AirPlay uh, theoretically anything that uses Apple's built-in control should be able to send video straight to the Apple TV but I come to the video, I click the AirPlay button, and audio only. Um, is this a content restriction? Is this something Apple had to do for Hollywood? Is it um, something Apple wanted to have more control over? Uh, John Gruber suggests that you know maybe they just ran out of time. They wanted to hit their November deadline, and they couldn't get AirPlay system wide. You know maybe here's uh, Netflix. Netflix is on the Apple TV, so we already have that content there. Uh, here we have Mad Men. We have Mad Men on the Canadian um, version of Netflix. Try to play it. Loads up in a second. And there we go. We look for the AirPlay control. It's there. Audio only. So maybe like AirPrint, the networking AirPrint, Apple just didn't have time where it was buggy or something. And um, maybe we'll get it in 4.3. Uh, they did get photos working. You can send photos from your iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch straight to your Apple TV. And it is pretty nice because as you uh, flick through them on your iOS device, flicks through them just the same on your TV. You can't pinch and zoom. You can't uh, rotate. You can't do anything fancy. And it does. Uh, there is a little bit of a delay, but I mean, it's still, it's, it is a Star Trek technology, so we're pretty forgiving of that. But again, if you have a home movie queued up and you try to play that, it just sticks on a photo. The movie does not move over at all. 
uh, which is a little bit disappointing because sending your home videos right from your iPhone to the Apple TV is pretty much the thing we were looking forward to the most. But again, um, hopefully we will see that in an iOS 4.3 after the holidays. Um, hopefully we won't have to wait till an iOS 5, but I mean, worst case, maybe. Still, it's, it's an incredibly promising technology. The potential is not quite lived up to yet. It's more theory than execution, but what there is so far is very good and we really hope for more.